My name is Stan Zlotkin. I'm a, a pediatrician and a nutritionist at the Hospital for Sick Children. And right now I'm the lead of a new portfolio called Global Child Health. I have had the wonderful opportunity of interviewing mothers in places like Mongolia, in Africa, in Asia. I say to them, what would you like for your children? And they say to me, I want my children to be healthy, I want my children to get an education, and to have a good job when they grow up. And guess what? That's exactly what you would say about your children in Canada. The new portfolio on Global Child Health is indeed really exciting. We at Sick Kids really do have an obligation to share the wealth of our research, of our clinical work, and of our education around the world. There is tremendous reciprocal value in what we do around the world to the children here at Toronto and in Canada. When we do things on sickle cell disease in Africa, we learn things about sickle cell disease that absolutely impact on children with sickle cell disease in Canada. I'm one of the luckiest people around because actually I love the work I do. As I walk from the subway to my office, I see children in the corridor who have major health problems. And I know that um, when I get to my office, although I may not do something for an individual child every day, the work that I'm doing is really contributing to the betterment of uh, children, both here in Toronto and around the world. Most of the sick kids' money for clinical care comes from our provincial government, but the provincial government only provides money for clinical care, appropriately so. But anything above clinical care that is the research or the education that we do has to come from non-tax money. I think the money that we can collect from the public is used very wisely. It's used for research, it's used for education, and it's really used to improve the quality of clinical care today, and most importantly tomorrow, for the children of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, and the world. Even small donations make a huge difference, whether it be one person giving a dollar in the grocery store, or another person giving a million dollars for a huge research project. Each one of these people is absolutely critical to our success.